I'm just looking at that and thinking, what a hoose you must have. Legging it round the forest, buying bow and arrows and dodging the sheriff and his men and all that. Yeah, yeah it's just yeah. like being a big kid again, really, it is. isn't it? It's, it's, like kind of, it's a lucky job to get, you know, not a lot of actors get to, to do the things that we've been doing yeah. for the last couple of And I sit here behind this desk, night after night. <laughs> I feel like an elderly relative that they come and visit and tell me about their exciting lives. <laughs> <laughs> now, there's a few things I want to know. Why has Robin fired all his many men? He's not fired him essentially it's because he's as i told you he's he's just wanted to no no he, yeah. he's, he's wanting to off. to go and and kill gisborne and his men are trying to talk sense into him and saying listen you can't do that without us you need our help you need our support and he's basically said well listen if you're not going to help me then leave me alone if you follow me i'll I'll, I'll kill you as well, yeah. so that's what he's doing. But, you know, they get him back, they get him back. He's bereft, isn't he, Robin? He's, yeah, bereft, yeah, as you would be, you know, the love of your yeah. life has, has been taken away from you in such circumstances that that's the way you've got to deal with it. Do you think he existed? I heard a story, you know, when I was on tour years ago, they were taking the statue of him down in Nottingham, which was unveiled by Gypsy Rose Lee, and they were replacing it with a statue of Torval and Dean. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're from Nottingham, yeah, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So do you think he existed? Um, I don't know. There's that. There's that. Uh, well, it's, it's a two-way story. People say it's just myth, and then people say no, it is. It is. It yeah. is true. But I don't think he would have been the kind of character that is is you know portrayed in the stories that that, that we see on television. But I do think a man with that name did exist. You yeah. know, to what extent he was, you know, <coughs> stealing from the rich to give to the poor. You know, is, is left in history, but it'd be nice to think about it, wouldn't we it? We could do the Robin Hood now, couldn't we? To steal from the rich and give to the boss. Steal from these <laughs> MPs with two houses, claiming these expenses. Don't get my back up. <laughs> <laughs> we could. And these bankers, aptly named, if you want my opinion, who are robbing us blind, killing people who've saved all their lives and putting the money into pensions, what are they left with? Nothing. Don't get me on that. <laughs> because, because, get on your horse now and kick off. I'll come with you. I'll be running a many men. Not so many, but I'll walk behind the horse. You can have a go. Do you have to cry? Because you have quite a lot of roles, don't you, where you whinge? Oh, yeah, yeah. I do. I do tend to be traumatised in everything that I do <laughs> in some way. So, um, yeah, I do get a bit of crying, actually, and she does start off quite dramatically. But, um, but it's nice, because as the series progresses, then she progresses, and you get to see her lighter side. And, and yeah, so you get to see all sides of her in the end, which is nice. So I don't You're a good crier, that. though, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. I don't know if that's a good thing or a She's bad thing. But it, 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 <laughs> just look at her the wrong way. Like, yeah, that's it. Do you have that <laughs> stick they put in your eyes? That's made of that, isn't it? Not, not really, not no. normally, but it's, um, it's good in cases of emergency, if yeah. you're very, very happy and you can't quite <laughs> like, squeeze a tear out. So. Did you enjoy doing Corrie? I loved it, yeah. It was she brilliant. She was a strange character, wasn't oh, she? Oh, yeah. yeah. She was a little bit wayward. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, the guy, I loved it. It was, um, it was like my first you know big job really and it was such a, a learning curve and they were so good to me there and um you know really kind of learnt my craft a bit and i was with really good actors and stuff and yeah they really looked after me so it was is good. it a shock when you first go on it you know and you go oh, oh, oh this it's terrifying, oh. Honestly. <laughs> yeah it really is because i was only 16 when i started as well so you know i was a kid really and i, I just went in and i just didn't speak for about a month i just kind of sat there and went <laughs> okay so um yeah but everyone's so friendly and stuff yeah. you soon kind of break the ice so now, Jonas, is it true that you're going to leave Robin Hood? Yes. Yeah. 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 I've, uh, I've, um... No, he's done his time. I've done, I've done three years, yeah. and when I got the job, that was the contract that I signed, and that was always what it was going to be. It's a three-year plan. Remember, I was talking to Joe before, my agent said to me, you know, this is going to take up three years of your life, but it's going to be a fantastic three years, and, and that's what it has been. But, um, you know, when you, you are in, it, in our game, in our profession, yeah. You, you have to realise that when you're at the top of, of, of the part, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, I couldn't have taken it any further. I've done like 13 and hours playing Robin Hood, and I think it's time for me to, to often do other things. But last three years, it's just been a fantastic, amazing experience. Must take good stuff, though, you know, if you... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get your hands together. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice job, and you think regular work, and you enjoy the people. You well, know, of course, leave, yeah, because yeah. you can think, okay, well, yeah. this is definite, but then you have to kind of trust yourself and go, okay, well, I've got to kind of push things on a bit more. There's a right bit of yeah. scouts in your accent, you know. I've, I, you get this, this job? I get this. You know, you've been studied on the end there. <laughs> <laughs> I think it, I think the only reason I can think about that is because I was, I'm, I'm, I'm from Dublin originally, and maybe there's a bit of that, yeah. which people say yeah. as well. So. Yeah. No, I mean, you've got to leave. Look at Diana Rigg. I mean, she couldn't have stayed in the Avengers all her life, could she? You know? <laughs> no. no, but she, she went when she was at the top of it, you know, yeah. top of the train, that off she went, and that, that, that's what it's like. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, get your hands together. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> For Jonas Armstrong and Joe Abbloggett, come on. <laughs>
Thank you, Thank you for coming on, James.